there a map about different things here or something like that? Big Muscle again, we on the hustle again. And welcome to Big Muscle Travel and Adventure. So today, our adventure takes us to Hillsboro River State Park. That's Hillsboro River State Park. And it's located in Hillsboro County, Florida, which is a few miles away from Tampa. That's on the west coast of Florida. Okay, so the address for this place is 15402 US 301 North, Tonotososa, Florida, and that's spelled T H O N O T O S A S S A, Florida. Tonotososa, Florida. So, we visited this park and we did see a number of wildlife at the park, including a squirrel. We saw some turtles, um, the bottleneck turtle. Uh, we saw some nice cypress knee plants. We saw some buttress root trees. We took a look at this beautiful river. And also, we looked at the forest canopy. Yes, we did. And we saw a lot of people in the park walking around, some working out. We also saw people kayaking along the river, right? And there's a canoe trail on the river there at this state park. So, what I learned about this park while visiting this park is that it's so serene and uniquely has a trail that runs along the edge of the river. And along this trail are some um, carters and balconies like this one you're looking at right now that you could go on and overlook the river and stuff like that so there are some american alligators located in the river uh, one lady was there told me she saw one she saw me filming and she told me there's an alligator down the road but the time i get down there i didn't see it she said it was about a six or a seven footer but i didn't see that gator okay but hopefully Next time when we do visit, we will run into this gator. So, adventures is something I love, right? And those are some epiphytes plants. There's a list of different plants that's located in the park that you'll see signs posted about in the park, okay? And that's a cypress knees plant and um, big buttress root trees that's located at the park also, of which I did make um video of some of those plants and i also place them in this video so you can enjoy the nice scenery serene and tranquil atmosphere that's in the park so one thing i also did is get some drone footage of the river and um it's the better part um of the river even though it's all nice the whole entire river is very nice so there's a picture of turtles we saw in the river also right but the drone footage of the river um, I place it in the video and also to the end of the video so you can get a good view of what the river looks like from above the forest canopy yes sir so an interesting thing I saw was people kayaking along the river um, wearing their life jackets of course and for sure uh, I saw also a Kano rental place, a uh, kayak rental place at the park. So that means you could probably go there, rent your kayak and just take yourself, family along the river, go kayak. And it's not a fast flowing river, at least not right now. And I don't think it is generally, right? Yes, sir. So it's easy to kayak in this river if you're a person who enjoys the outdoor adventures along the waterways and just being out in the ecosystem enjoying 
flora and fauna. Yes, sir. So interestingly, while making these videos and to put this entire video together, it did take a lot of work to get this project together, but it was all worth it. And I'm gonna tell you why. One of the main reasons it's worth it to me is because it don't feel like work. Why? Because I'm an adventurous person and I like the outdoors. As a matter of fact, like is an understatement. I love the outdoors, interacting with plants, animals, and anything in nature that's natural and beautiful. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys out there um, will enjoy this video. Love it, it's very serene. You get a natural sounds because I didn't blur out much of the sound. So there's the American alligator and they're populated along this river, in this river also, okay? So one lady spotted one, but I didn't get to capture it so you could see it in the video. But I captured different animals like a squirrel, um, bottleneck turtle and stuff like that that you will see in this video also and it's Florida so there's a lot of palm trees that you'll see in this video and a lot of hardwood trees some of which are listed in the video also for you to enjoy yes sir so this trail goes along the river for a good ways down and of course I journeyed a good little ways down but i didn't complete the entire um trail that runs along the river i mean i imagine that would take a lot of time which i didn't have but i got you guys as much as i can and these nice walks on these boardwalks um over different areas that was placed in this park for your convenience and safety while you're venturing out in the woods and the state park enjoying the serene scenes of the river yes sir all right so one of the things i realize is that there are people who like different things and one of the things that i like and some of my viewers i know a lot of you guys like motorcycles and bikes because i do put some of those videos on the channel also but there are folks that I provide natural outdoor events for and this is one of those occasions where you can enjoy this outdoor event enjoy the sounds of nature and just be serene tranquil and hopefully if you're in and around the area somewhere on the west coast of Florida um, probably if that's the Natasosa area you could take a trip to this park I also saw they have a camping ground that you could register you campers and um you could visit this park with your camper also um for however long i have no idea you probably have to call the state park to find out that information for how you get registered and how you could set up um, your camper on the camping ground right so that's one thing so as we look along the river on that piece of log there was a turtle sitting on that piece of log in the river just enjoying the sun warm basking and chilling and i'm pretty sure they have a lot of different fish in the river i even saw one guy was fishing with his son i think it's his son who was fishing and just enjoying the serene tranquil atmosphere away from city traffic away from city life away from the hustle away from the bustle just nature and you and i mean what else could you really ask for have a great natural day just being in the outdoors right right so can you bring your own kayak to this river i'm pretty sure you probably can yes you could probably bring your own kayak here um i don't know you want to check with the management and the state park to see that right and here are some folks that we saw walking along the road people and some kids and stuff like that now interestingly there was one thing um i saw one lady here and she saw me flying the drone and then she came to me and then she asked me a few questions and she said what um are you making videos and i was like yeah so, okay so here's the river um Kanu trail and this is where they dock and i think they go um into the river with the canoe this is probably the area 
to get into the water because I did see a few um, kayaks over here sitting here and there they are a few kayaks so probably rental and you could just take one when you rent it go to the river and do your kayaking and then you put it back when you're through and that's pretty much it all right so back to this lady that I saw and she introduced herself and told me where she was from and she had a kid with her and um, she said are you making videos I said yeah you know I make videos and I place them on YouTube and stuff like that she was said she said to me well that's kind of interesting because um, her kid I think they had a career day at school and then they asked the kids what they want to become when they grew up and surprisingly she told me that 75% of the kids say they want to be YouTubers, which I find very interesting. Now, she was kind of at a shock, but I wasn't because I'm noticing trends and patterns that going on these days. And social media is a big deal. OK, a lot of people are into it. So kids are seeing it as a lucrative way to make a career and stuff like that, even though there are some old school folks who don't think it's a real thing or think it's something to do. But let me tell you, it is something to do. You can make a career as a social media person on any social media platform of which you choose. I just saw it as a an hobby and that's what I do. OK, so here we ran into a bridge that's closed and we also saw a few guys um, kayaking along this um waterways right underneath the closed bridge well this guy seemed like his kayak got out of control but oh, i mean he had it under control really it just made a spin probably with the wind or the currents in the water or whatever it is all right so back to the social media thing so the social media thing is something that a lot of youth today are realizing that they could make a lucrative living out of and they're doing so okay right Good. So with that said, here's the area where I saw this lady um, right at this area. And this area is the, um, where you get the best footage of the river. And it's because there are some rocks in the water. Um, it's rushing really fast over these rocks. And it has nice, uh, what are those plants called again? I don't remember, but you'll figure it out as you go in the water. So it gives you this nice view that you could look transparently to the bottom of the water and up the river and um, enjoy the scenery and stuff like that. So what I did with the drone here, would I put it up really high um, further down the road so you could get nice aerial footage of the um, Hillsboro State River Park. And this is the state Hillsboro State River. And the year you're looking to the bottom of the river on the plants that are sitting in the bottom of that river and stuff like that and also down the river right and if you look to your left that's the area where people could stand um right there where they have the balconies and stuff like that you could stand there and overlook the river but this current footage you're looking at i used the drone to put it over the river so you can get a better view of what's going on with the water and stuff like that all right yes sir so one thing i do love about youtube per se and is this youtube allows you as a creator to create stuff that you can teach others from without leaving um your home per se because it's a digital platform that you publish the videos and people see it from all over the world, right? And this is something that's very unique and fascinating to me. Now, when I just started YouTube, I had no idea what, what I was doing with videos and stuff like that. But as time goes, I learn, and with your support, I'm getting better at making you good content so you can enjoy the things that I place on YouTube, learn from them. It's merely the objective there to learn different things that you see on YouTube, learn about things that you don't know or things that may spark your interest. Sometimes it's just brief information you get and you could take that information, go research and um, dig into it some 
and you'll find out more about everything that you're seeing or airing on YouTube on other <coughs> social media platforms now keep in mind that everything you see on the internet is not true but I try to give you as real as possible the different things that I explore see record and upload online because I like fact based things and I think most people will like factual information if they're doing natural things like adventurous stuff and things like that now speaking adventurous stuff speaking of adventurous stuff one of the things you should also keep in mind is that when you're going on hiking trails i mean this is a park that has a lot of people walking around in it and whatnot you know it's not off in the wilderness per se uh, the main road is just a few miles away from here probably two three miles so it's not far off but one thing that I did notice is that, uh, and, and I want to tell you guys that when you're going in these woods, keep in mind there's things like poison ivy in these woods. And I did see a sign with poison ivy on it. So that's telling me that there is poison ivy in these woods. And you got to be careful of that because that's a, a um, plan that could really send you itching. All right. So we did, ran into this. Um, park ranger and stuff like that and these folks he probably had them on a tour showing them something uh, on the next side of the river or whatever right cool so like I was saying have different types of equipments and different stuff um, to prevent um, educate yourself really to prevent yourself from running into a poison ivy or stuff like that that could send you uh, skin itching, rashes, irritate your skin and other stuff like that. And also when you're going on these trails, one good idea is to always have some type of water um, and some type of communication device. So if you do get lost in these woods or forest um, or state park, you can always call someone. And of course, um, there is help available. You just saw that park ranger with those folks right there and there's help available close by so you have your communication devices whether it's a cell phone walkie talkie or whatever the case is okay if you're going on the river have you a life jacket have different things that can help you just in case and also for example plants and different animals you want to stay out their way you know this is their home their habitat whether it's snakes uh, squirrels alligators um hawks or anything that's in the woods if you get into their habitat and they they could think that you're a threat or they may be hungry you never know what the results could be okay and of course you want it to be something safe so take precautions while you're venturing out in these woods lands and forests and other places like that along the banks of rivers and that type of stuff all right yes sir so this trail we're heading back to the main part where we started along that river edge um going towards the trail right and it was about i would say half a mile that i went down in these woods um some people taking picture over there of a bride or something like that along the edges of the river so you can see that people use this park for different means it's not just to um, hike or exercise and stuff like that. People also do photographing and stuff like that. And also probably uh, people are interested in different plants like this plants that you're looking at. You could probably come here, explore these plants, check them out at different seasons, whether it's winter, summer, spring, and see how these plants grow, behave, shed leaf, or whatever the case is during different seasons of the year. There's a lot of different things you can do in a state park and slash forest or a woodland that could um, help you and others if you have the right tools, equip yourself and prepare for the journey. You know, you set out what plan you're going to accomplish and you get to it. So in this video, what I sought out to accomplish was to give you a good feel of what it's like and okay so the river is closed for swimming just in the fyi you just saw that sign posted give you a good feel of what it's like to take a walk 
in the Hillsboro River State Park right so here in this video I'm pretty sure you're hearing all these sounds and nature at its best bugs and different um, crickets or whatever flies making their noise the river is rushing and it's just a natural feel of nature that you can't beat even if you try yes ah. and this is something that you will never get in the heavy city life bustle and hustle of all types of stuff and there's a caution sign also showing you for your safety keep out of these guys way and if you see them respect nature respect them and they are protected by state law just as you see posted in on that sign right so that's why there is no swimming in the river and stuff like that probably fishing yes but no swimming in the river and that other type of stuff or diving you know that type of stuff and most of these parks are listed with different signs of what you can and cannot do and if you're not sure what you can do at the Hillbury River States Park you can always ask a park ranger they got different road maps at the gate to direct you and stuff like that okay so to get into this park I think I paid at the time four bucks and this was like um, July mid July 2022 um, in case you're watching this video a year down the road two years down the road or even a month down the road right that's what I paid to get into this park four dollars and um, that was it and I think they close at 8 30 p.m. I think so close at 8 30 p.m. and then there are different parks with different times but I think this one closes at 8 30 or something like that let's go ahead and check that real quick yeah so we're saying okay 8 30 p.m. they close and that's um, information off their website and stuff like that so we're looking at the pig nut hickory plant and that's also located there in this um, forest um, state park different palm trees different hardwood trees right so I hope you see what you're coming to look at pretty soon because I know for sure either this video or some of the video will speak your, park your interest and you may want to take a visit here if you live in close by because here's the thing a lot of times you'll find these videos and you're not getting a real feel of what's really out there it's all fluffed up uh, you know a different splicing of different videos that people just picked up along the road and stuff like that but what i do is go out there and get you the real deal okay what you see is what you get nothing fluff none of that type of stuff so this is the American hornbeam, and it's also another plant that's located in the Hillsboro River State Park. All right, so you get a natural feel of what it's like. So when you go out here, you can see, okay, this is where I'm gonna walk. I wanna see that, I wanna see this, I wanna go kayaking, because you saw people doing all that stuff in this video also. Now, different types of birds, reptiles mammals and that type of stuff live in this state park it's their natural habitat right you don't see cars driving in the park off to the areas where they have trails and stuff like that but guess what animals own these terrains okay it's their natural habitat and we respect that so you saw the signs posted don't take nothing beside pictures and leave nothing besides footprints so that means when you go to these parks you keep it clean you don't leave trash they do have a lot of trash cans and stuff like that keep it clean pristine and um, take pictures and that's it or you can do like I did do you take videos and different things like that but we want to keep it preserve it for the future so the youth that coming up could see these natural places and realize that you know you don't have to be in the house watching tv all saturday or all day on sunday you know you can go out connect with nature um get some fresh air and i'm pretty sure these trees do have a lot of fresh air okay because that's all 
no hustle bustle, no combustion, not a lot of exhaust coming off different cars that's just zooming by. It's just out there in one with nature. So this is the best hair to inhale right where it's heavily populated. With these trees, we're pushing off these wonderful oxygen into your lungs so you could breathe ah, fresh air. I mean, that's way better than being locked up in an air-conditioned home or car all day where you're just breathing in air that's been circulated over and over and over again. Nothing beats nature or things that's natural, okay? It's the best. So what you can do for yourself and your lungs will thank you too. When you make these trips, your lungs will thank you um, later on and your feet and your overall body and mind. Why? Because you don't see the hassle of everyday life, fighting traffic to get home, fighting traffic to get to work. And hey, you even fight in your bills and the month comes, right? <laughs> you do sometimes, man. Come on, let's go. So what we see okay it's a river close to swimming another sign posted right there what that means what that means don't go in this river to swim it's that simple it's not a complicated thing and they posted the signs right but you can kayak because that's allowed at the park because you're in a boat or a kayak and you're on the river paddling with your paddles like those guys you saw earlier in the video and that's perfectly allowed. Okay, so here's a map right here that I saw and that's giving you different information about the area, the river, and probably things you can't and cannot do um, to help yourself and the park stay in tune and be ready at all the times. All right, so let's look, take a look here at what we're looking at. So this area right here of the park is the main viewing area, I would say, as far as the river is concerned. The main viewing area, and it's a very big and wide area. And below this deck, you have some cypress knee trees. Um, there's one right there that I saw that was very, um, I would say, unique, because it's just on that rock and it's right in the river. So of course that tree is properly fed with all types of nutrients that's coming down from that river and stuff like that. So this is where I decided that, you know, I'm gonna use the drone in this area and get great footage of this part of the river and provide it for my viewers. So those who can, um, were not able to go to this river or whatnot could see a better view of what's really there and of course we didn't do the entire park no sir we did a portion of the park so i'm pretty sure there's more things that you can see at this park for sure um more things you could probably explore uh whether you want to barbecue or stuff like that because i did see some areas you could probably picnic, hang out, and chill uh, with grills and stuff like that. All right, and some benches. And also there was an area for kids. I think it was a play area. And there are nice facilities located here as far as the restrooms are concerned. Um, because I went into a restroom here and it was very clean, very nice. Uh, I mean, it, it doesn't have to be raggedy just because it's in the middle of the woods. It's a well-maintained park and they keep the things of the facilities, um, restrooms specifically, they're clean, right? So we take a look in the forest canopy and all those trees are rushing to the top of the forest to get sunlight, fresh air, and also, well, they're really rushing there for sunlight and to outgrow each other. So they keep racing to the top for sunlight and provide a good coverage for those squirrels and other animals that live in the park, whether it's a bear, because there's black bears in Florida, they got the Florida panther. You know, there's a lot of different type of wildlife that's in Florida, different mammals and stuff like that that live in Florida. Some of which you're not see because they're very elusive 
and are not very um, fond of human activities and stuff like that. And some will come out if they need food. A good example is the Florida black beer, which brings me to another point. You know, when you're in these areas like this picnic area, if you finish doing your picnic and stuff like that, always remember to put your litter in the trash and don't leave it for the bears to harm themselves and stuff like that because we would want the future generation to see what a black beer look like so we're going to make sure we take care of these areas all right okay so there is a closed bridge um that we saw earlier and these two guys um rowing their kayak and enjoying the beautiful florida sunshine in their kayak and of course they were in live vests right so hey guess what you don't have to be golfing every day in florida there are different things you can do because guess what there are some folks who don't even realize that they have rivers in florida that you can actually go kayaking yeah there's stuff like that to do so you don't have to go all the way to another state you know you don't have to go over there you don't have to be on a golf course. You don't have to do all that stuff. You don't have to be on the beach. You could be in a state park at the Hillsborough River State Park having a lot of fun. And for those people who are big fans of flora and fauna and you like to take pictures of the natural outdoors and um, outside things, this is your perfect spot. If you're a photographer by any chance, uh, a person who like to do different type of documentaries on the outdoors I would recommend this area as an area that you can come and get great footage and also educate the rest of the public about things that they see and things that um, you could possibly do about these areas it's green green forest right through and through now one thing i did notice when i was coming in this park was there um i think there was some controlled burning going on because i did see a lot of dry trees in the center area of the park per se uh, so I, we know different areas they do controlled burning from time to time now what is controlled burning it's just when the state or local government decide that they have to burn out a certain area of certain forests um or tree areas to make fresh ones grow or whatever the situation is now is that what happened or could it be a lightning strike i have no idea but i'm just going um by um the moment the amount of these burns that i've seen that it's possibly that that caused it all right so here's the best view right the best view from the drone and then i lift the drone up and i look over the top of the whole entire river and gave look up and down the river so you could see what it looks like um, from the top view of the river now of course if you're flying a big jet plane you wouldn't be able to see this river or maybe it could look like a drop in the bucket to you from a big aircraft right you would probably even recognize that there's a river down below these trees right so there's the best view it's so pristine and nice you can see the sun glaring on top of the water and of course natural life being formed and enjoying the natural outdoors beauty now this was a very very nice view glamour shot if you ask me the sun was bright shining the trees are nice lush and green and the river is running peacefully away from human being interruption and all types of other things like that okay nice place for nature lovers adventurers hikers kayakers you can come here and have a wonder wonderful time all right so we didn't have to get in um, what the park is made of, how many trees are in the park and all this other stuff. What I wanted you to get was a nice feel and a sense of what it is to be in this park. And um, I'm pretty sure I gave you a lot of footage 
here and uh, this is something that should give your uh, mindset a feel of what it is like to visit here so when you do come you'll know some of the areas you can check out and stuff like that so once again it's big muscle we're always on the hustle thank you guys for viewing this video remember to hit the subscribe button hit the like button leave a comment down below and catch me in the next video peace